What's up guys, Tech Talk back here with another video and today I'm going to show you how to run the Y-Door IPSW file on your iPhone 2G. What this is, is essentially it is running iOS 7 on this device. Now it is not like the actual iOS 7, but it is like a tweaked version of this firmware to make it look like it's running iOS 7. Now I'm not sure about app compatibility, but I'm going to show you how to do that in this video, how to run this wide or IPSW on this device. Now this video actually was, this idea was given to me by the iDevice archive and he sent me the link to show you how to do it. So I'm going to put a link in the description of his channel so go check it out. Um, his videos are pretty cool and if you haven't already subscribed to him, go subscribe to him. So let's get started on this video. So what you want to do first is go ahead and plug your charging and sync cable into your computer and just plug it into your device. Okay, so after you've plugged your device in, you want to open iTunes. I will leave a link in the description to download iTunes for Windows. If you're running an iMac, you should already have it. Sorry about any extra background noise you might hear. So you just want to click on your device and click back up now. And I'll be back when it's finished. Okay, and it is finished. Now you can close out of, well actually, yeah, we're going to close out of iTunes. Okay, so now what you want to do for your iPhone 2G, you want to just go to the link in the description. I'll leave two links. If you're not using iPhone 2G, you can just go to installation and select which iPhone or um, iDevice. So I'm just going to click Windows. And then you go ahead and click Download. And then you want to go ahead and click um, Unlocker. If you're not sure about which one of these, it says to just get Unlocker. And I'm not sure what the difference is. I read it and it says um, if you are using the original SIM card you can use a normal. If you're not you can use Unlocker and I'm not sure because I just got this phone used so I'm going to use Unlocker and I'll be back to you guys when it's finished downloading. Okay so after you have downloaded the folder you want to just click on it. It is a zip file and you want to find this little file that says white door 7 one dash iPhone 2G unlocker dot IPSO. You want to just drag that out here and it will extract it and I will be back when it is done. Okay so after you have extracted your folder on the desktop you need to go to the other link in the description on the download red snow and you need to download 0 0.9.14 beta 1 right here. I already have it downloaded as you saw a second ago because I need to make sure I got the right one, but you want to download 0.9.14 beta 1 right here. And once you have downloaded it, you'll find it in your downloads folder and it'll be a zip file. You'll just right click and click extract all next and it should extract it in your downloads folder. I've already done that. Now you just want to open the folder and then open Red Snow. Now you want to click extras and click Pwn DFU. Now you need to put your device into DFU mode. Now how you do that is you turn your device off first of all. If you already know this you can skip this part of the video. But what you need to do is hold the butt power button for three seconds. One, two, three. Now hold both the home button and the power button for ten seconds. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now hold the home button for 15 seconds. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now Red Snow will do its thing like as soon as it connects and now it says done. So now it is in Pwn DFU mode. Now after you've got your device in Pwn DFU mode you want to go ahead and open iTunes. Now it's going to say iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. You must restore this iPhone before it can be used with iTunes. Click OK. Now you want to click Shift Restore and find the IPSW that you extracted from the Widor um, zip file. So in this case it's on the desktop. You can choose location up here. I'm just going to choose desktop because that's where it is. You want to click on it and click Opened and it will start extracting the file and doing its thing and I'll be back with you as soon as it starts restoring. So once you have put it in Pwn DFU mode and started the restore it should start doing this. Now some of you may have trouble with the red snow. The latest version does not work that's why I had to use that 
version. Use that version, don't get any other version, it won't work. Or an older version might work if you can get it to download. But as you can see, the iPhone is now restoring this custom IPSW. And I will be back when it finishes. So at some point you get to this screen, I'm not entirely sure what it's doing. So we'll just have to see. I'll let you know what happens. Okay, so now after it says flashing bootloader, it will say now flashing baseband and the bootloader was successfully flashed. It says this normally takes up to two minutes. If it takes longer, please be very patient. So I'll let you know what happens after this. Okay guys, so after it finishes flashing everything, you'll get to this screen and it will actually say no SIM, or at least in my case it did, and it had a blue lock screen because I already unlocked it once. But it takes a second to unlock. But now you are running iOS 7, or a modified version of iOS 3. I'm not sure. We're about to find out. So about iOS 3.1.3. So you won't be able to use um, like newer apps. But now, it looks just like iOS 7, and apparently you get the YouTube app. Isn't that an upgrade? Because if you saw my last video, I couldn't even get the YouTube app. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope this worked for you. Um, please leave a comment if you have any issues. I'll try to get back with you as soon as I can. Also, don't forget to go to subscribe to the iDevice Archive as he has some pretty awesome videos. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.